Good evening. Another cold, dark winter's night. So, it's story time again with a few who like me stories. Thanks for telling me. And I thought I'd do a couple of car stories tonight. And <laughs> we've loads, haven't we, from a youth. Anyway, uh, got my first car. I've been riding motorbike until I was 19. Anyway, I took my test, but uh, the first story is actually before I even took my test. Right, this is my car. Right, this picture was before I got it. And the chap at the local garage built it. Now, I'll just tell you what it is. It's a DKW with a 1500 MGA engine in, BMC engine in. And it's what Carl called a spout bolt job. You know, which means it wasn't very well engineered. Anyway, I haven't passed my test. And I got uh, a mate to come and sit with me. Because, of course, you had to have a qualified driver sitting with you before you passed your test. So here we are, just about to go out for the night. Well, there we are. Look, there's my mate ready for us. And we set off to go to Louth. It's not on this road, but it's a similar sort of road. It's a main road, actually. A16 to Louth. You can look it up on Google Earth if you want. Anyway, we got to Louth okay, and the blooming brakes went. Couldn't believe it, would you? First night out in my car. Anyway, I made it home safely. And uh, what I did, it was a back brake, so I just cut pipe <laughs> and hammered it over so I got front brakes. You know, put some fluid in, bled them. And I found there was a... Because they're old cars, you see. I found there was a chap in Grimsby, 30 miles away, about from Ulsby, that... Uh, specialised in them so I went over to Grimsby and I parked up near a little um, park there's, there's a little park near the high street his garage is on the high street so anyway I got me new second hand wheel cylinder went back to my car walked up to the park now remember there's quite a few roads around Grimsby and I wasn't familiar with it and uh, no car so I walked around this park about three times and I thought what do I do now you know I thought, well, it can't have been stolen, you know, and I just didn't know what was happening. Anyway, I walked round for, it must have been half an hour, I think, and lo and behold, you wouldn't believe it, would you? There's two small parks, and I'd parked at the other one. Anyway, we get the car, and uh, get home, put the wheel cylinder on, put a new brake pipe on, bleed it all up, and I've got brakes again. So, that was the end of that adventure, but that was... <laughs> <laughs> a bit traumatic for your first night out, isn't it, in your own car? So, anyway, by the way, a few um, sharp eyed amongst you might have noticed that it was a left hand drive, left legger as we call them. Well, of course, when you drive on the left, it's a bit of a pain because you can't see to get past. But with it being, for its day, it was quite powerful, you know. It, it was smaller than the car it came out, and it was okay, it was just a bit rough, that was all. Anyway, um, unusually for me, I got a girlfriend to take out, and this is, oh, by the way, this is uh, a few weeks later, I passed my test by this time, so anyway, we set off from Ulsby, and what I'll do, I'll now swap roads, and I'll show you the road we went on. Anyway, it was a really foggy night, and it was along this road, and, uh, it's at, she's at Tetford, right? And if you want to look up Google Earth Road, as I say, have a look and you'll see where I went. Anyway, on the way there, as I say, it was really foggy. And at this bend here, where I'm going left, I actually went straight on. And so the road winds and curls and that. Well, being left hand drive, it was blooming useful this night because I could stick my head out the window and watch the blooming grass verge going by, which was ideal. However, I carried on and I, I mean it was real pea super, you know, and I wasn't going very fast. And uh, I followed the grass verge, suddenly it disappeared, and then I see a gate post come. And I, I mean I was creeping, you know, and I came across a blooming straw stack. And what happened was, <laughs> the road took a sharp right turn, and I'd driven in this blooming farmyard. Anyway, 
I got out of my car to try and find my way around and I walked around the stack and lost sight of the blooming car. That took about five minutes to find it. Anyway, eventually we got shunted about and uh, got back on the road and got to Tetford only to find I'd been stood up, you know. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> so, not to worry. Anyway, so I came home and I still decided to go down to Mablethorpe. You know, I still decided to go out. I mean, in those days, I wasn't scared. The weather didn't stop us. I, was <laughs> I used to travel 12 miles to work and back every day along this very road. You know, so we were used to all weathers and everything. It didn't used to stop me then. Now, if there's a spot of rain, I don't go out at all. Anyway, it's a different story today, isn't it, when you're old? So, uh, we made it to Mablethorpe, all right. And what I'll do now, again, I've got a bit of video. What it is, I... Uh, I put my other camera, well, that's why it's a square picture, but it takes a good picture in the car. I did a few videos a few years ago, so I thought I'll use them up for this. So I've got a video of uh, where we went in Mablethorpe, so I'll just show you that. So here we are going down Waterloo Road in Mablethorpe, and at the bottom, at the Eagle Hotel, there was a discotheque, and that's where we went for, oh, for years. It was Grab Pub like. It was alright. Anyway, what happened was, on the way there, the blooming dynamo packed up on the car. I mean, you know, it was an eventful night. That's why I remember it so well. And uh, the other thing is, the car was six volt electrics and the engine 12. And so uh, what he'd done was take a tapping halfway off the battery. So half the car ran on six volt and the engine ran 12 volt, but off the same battery. So you can imagine the scene, can't you? Anyway. Here we are, we arrived at the pub safely, somehow or other, on this thick, foggy night. How we did it, we'll never know. But here we are. Anyway, the dramas didn't start, stop there. So anyway, I, uh, when I was there, we had the night out, it was normal. And while I was there, one of my sister's friends was there and said, could I give her a lift home to Willoughby? Well, of course, it's um, just to tell you the distances involved. It was uh, about 8 miles down to Tetford and 8 miles back home, 12 miles to Mablethorpe. Then I had to come back to Alford and detour another 6 miles by Willoughby. You know, and remember my dynamo had gone. So anyway, we set off home through this fog. Luckily, as I say, with it being left-hand drive, it was a blessing this night because I could put my head out the window and see where I was going. Anyway, I get back to about Willoughby and the car died. Well, of course, like I told you, it was the battery was 6 and 12 volt. And I found that turning the lights off, the 6 volt system off, the car kept running. You know, because, of course, it only used half the battery up. <laughs> three of the cells were flat and the three of them had a bit in. So I had the wonderful time of coming home in thick fog on country roads with no lights at about midnight. You know, well, luckily there wasn't much traffic about. And I do, I'm not sure, I did see a car, one car, and what I did, I, I pulled well off the road. You know, as far onto the grass verge and nearly into the dike as possible. You know, so we made it home. But it was, uh, it was an eventful trip. By the way, you've just seen on screen, this trip was uh, my first racing trip I did. I say racing on the road, and not that I raced about, I did out dangerous, I ain't crashed yet. Hopefully won't, but we will someday probably. But uh, this was the road that came from Cabwell. So when I saw the stock cars, I used to come along this road coming home. So we, you know, I named this the first racing bit of road I did. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the story. I think we've nearly got long enough. And I've tried to make the stories relevant to the car pictures I've got of my first car. You know, so... Great memories, we survived it, and as I say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, eh? Right, talk to you next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. See you.